Make Should we get our last caller? Yes. And then it is past my bad time. I, I know. I'm I'm exhausted. <laughs> All right. Christian. That's for last, somebody. Hey, Christian. How's You're it going? On. You're on with uh ooh, let oh, me change on. the name on the screen. I'm I'm actually mostly here to talk to Hannah. It's not really a not really an Ethan thing. But. All right, I'll, I'll yeah. jump off the screen, <laughs> Hannah. It's it's all you. <laughs> hey. Uh, but yeah, I, I wanted to I wanted to address the topic. I was actually going to talk about uh, some sort of self love sort of mantra there for a little bit, but I decided instead to tell a, a small story about my great grandmother, who I love very dearly, and unfortunately has since passed on. But she was she really meant the world to me. She had the kindest eyes. She was just the nicest person ever. Aww. And unfortunately, in her later years, she developed early Alzheimer's, which didn't progress to her losing her memory. She just started to uh, become cold and forget all the times and all the fun times that she had with us. And she started, you know, blaming her own personal problems on, you know, anyone who she, anyone who she saw. And she became, you know, cold and, and very rude. And it was, it was very sad. And, and me as a kid who was only about, you know, 10 or 11 at the time, I thought it was my fault. So oh, uh, how this relates to the topic is that I sort of, in a way, had to fall out of love with my great grandmother to not blame myself for what happened for many years. And I had to believe that it, that it was, it, it was something else. And obviously at the time I was a Christian. So a lot of times I would, I would pray and I would, I would ask God for for all sorts of you know promises and and things like that, and of course nothing happened because God doesn't exist. But that's a separate point. Uh, I I actually would sit there and I would I would ask for someone to please make her the way that she was before that, make her the way that she was when she, when I was still her little boy who she loved talking to, and unfortunately she died without ever making amends with any of the people that she started to wrong and she died without wanting to really talk to any of us and it was really sad and it broke my heart and to this day i still wish that i could have you know just just a couple more minutes with the grandmother that i used to have and it's just it's really sad to know that in spite of how much i loved her um i, I had to i had to fall out of love with her and she fell out of love with me and it will that will always be our last moments together was not, not being, not being family, just being um, her caretaker. So. Alzheimer's is a really, really heartbreaking thing that happens to families. And I'm so sorry you had to go through that because that, oof, that gave me the opposite of the warm and fuzzies Christian. <laughs> I'm 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 actually famous for for bringing the opposite of warm and fuzzies on programs. So. Oh man, no! I mean, it makes sense though. Like you have to kind of detach yourself in order to kind of be able to let go. I mean, I don't know if you have or were able to, but I mean, well, I don't blame you for coping. What, what I can say on, on letting go. Um, sorry, I, I started talking and then that was, that was my fault. No, I, 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 I always pause and then I think of more things to say. <laughs> I was saying like, I don't blame you for like co coping in that way. That, that makes sense. One, one thing that I've, I found hard is especially because I have that experience as a, as a kid of, of watching people who you love dearly sort of start to push you away. Anytime that I see that in somebody else, I just, I have that flight reaction where yeah. I, I don't, I don't want to go through that again. So I'd rather push them away now and let me be the reason why they went away instead of letting them be the reason. And it's, it's really tough and it, it manifests itself. And I haven't had, a, I've never had a serious relationship because I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at it. I'm always constantly afraid of things going wrong. And I, I see all of my inadequacies with the finest possible comb and I'm, I'm willing to excuse other people's shortcomings, but not my own. And it's it's this this really terrible cycle. But uh, this this is this is in fact not a Christian rant about his life being terrible story. This is a uh, mm. this this was a se separate topic. So I, I do appreciate you listening to that. No, I, I Christian, I, I resonate with what you're saying. It uh, so in my first 
th- like therapy appointment, uh, which was like a couple weeks ago, um, courtesy of Oz from the Atheist Roundtable. Um, we were like, we we're kind of talking about my personality, I guess, in a way. I'm trying to think of the best way to put this. And like, she had pointed out how I'm willing to pretty much forgive anything of anybody. But then when I would, I would make statements like, I don't deserve this. I don't do this. She's like, why don't you forgive yourself? And that's a problem. Like I will excuse other people's like sometimes some of the most atrocious behavior, but I still can't get over my behavior in the past. And, uh, I, I'm, I just get where you're coming from, Christian, because I am. Well, the thing about when you become emotionally vulnerable with someone and then you are rejected, it's it's just fucking hard. Like you put all of your insecurity, everything on the line for someone to throw back at you and be like, that was terrible. And you're like, I know. (laughs) So like, I don't know. I I just, oh, fuck. I've been there. I just, Christian, if you are comfortable and you are, and you have the means, I highly recommend therapy just because you deserve to be happy and you deserve love no matter what you think or anyone else says. It's fucking terrifying, but working on yourself is one of the best things you could ever, one of the best gifts you could ever give yourself. Because, I'm still trying hey, to figure out how to do well, that, but I agree with you, Hannah. We only have one life, and so yes. you got you got to try. And I know it's so much easier said than done, but if it's something you're comfortable with, I highly encourage. Thank you. Uh, for- I I can I can really quickly before because I know that the show's got to end. The show must go on, but mm-hmm. I I do want to say two quick things, which is first, it is shows like like this, like what what Ethan does and what you do, Hannah, that a lot of times put into perspective a lot of things that I hadn't thought about before. And, you know, what you're doing here isn't just it, it isn't just a commodity, it's a necessity. It's a service to people. It gives people, you know, it gives people hope in the in, in the darkest parts of their life. And that that means a lot. And I I, I you know I, I can't I can't thank you enough. And then I, I do see holy Kool-Aid in chat, Thomas. Uh, Thomas had made a video about uh, why heaven is bad. And that was one of the integral videos in getting me to let go of of her and letting her letting letting her last days not define who she was as a person. So everyone in this community, especially recently, has given me that strength slowly but surely. So I can't thank y'all enough. And the pickup line, in addition to all of other Ethan's shows, all all of Ethan's other shows are, you know, they 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 do make the world a better place in 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 many ways so thank you you're gonna come up into my own show and make me cry (laughs) 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 i would give you the biggest (laughs) if you are okay with hugs i would hug you right now (laughs) thank you for We'll we'll give the digital hug the socially distance hug i'm hugging you through the monitor i'm giving you a hug Oh, no, really, thank you from thank the bottom of my friggin' heart for calling. Thank you, Christian. It was awesome talking to you both. Have a good night. You too. You too.